Vyakhyatr Pratibha Malinatha Part 2. In the first video, we had a glimpse of Malinatha's work in his beautiful shloka on Lord Ganesha. This time, we take up another, yet another shloka on the goddess of learning herself, Saraswati. Uh, now, see, Malinatha is a hot favorite of the Vayakaranas because of two things. One, he is a stickler for grammatical accuracy. He quotes a lot of sutras and etymological derivation of words. And the second part is, 90% of the time, he is strict in adhering to the words that are there in the original texts. He himself says that in his commentary on Raghuvamsha, Shishupalavadha and others, Iha anvaya naiva, uh, sarvam maya. I use the method of anvaya to comment upon na amulam likhyate kinchitu. Nothing that is being written is unsaid in the original. Uh, na anapekshitam uchyate. Anything said extra is in fact what is required. This became a standard for Vyakhyanas and that distinguished a Vyakhyana from Bhashyam, which is more elaborate and more opinionated too. Uh, so now, does Malinatha, uh, uh, does this mean that Malinatha was just a Shushka Vyakarana? I don't mean that as an offense because in fact, Savati Nagaraj Madhya and uh, my Guru Sri Abhiram Sundaram sir are great grammarians with a special rasikata for sahityam. Now, is Malinatha so dry like his commentaries? Not at all. Actually, this shloka uh, is another example of his pratibha, which proves otherwise. Sharada sharadam bhoja vadana vadanam buche sarvada sarvada smakam sannidhim sannidhim kriyat May Sharada, the goddess of learning, the all-giving, the one with a countenance that is like uh, an autumnal lotus. May, her, may she reside forever in the lotus of my mouth, blessing me, blessing us with the best treasure, that is education. Now the beauty lies in the use of yamakas or repetitions of words. Sometimes with different meanings, sometimes indicating different things. Sharada, the word Sharada here refers to the goddess of learning. The second Sharada means autumnal, belonging to Sharadrutu. So Sharada, who has a face, Vadanam, which is like the Amboja, uh, a, a lotus that belongs to the autumn season, autumnal. The next part is the clever one, where the word Vadana means face in both places. But he cleverly uses it in the first part to mean Saraswati's face and in the second part to mean the author's mouth. So may she reside in the author's mouth where he wants the god goddess to be there always giving her uh, 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 education. Right? Sarvada and Sarvam Dadati, giver of everything. The last one is Sannidhim, Sannidhihi, good treasure. And sannidhihi, proximity. It is not enough if you just give me the treasure and go away. Yellam tandum yen pakkatil nillum amma. Stay beside me to ensure that there is a constant flow of that treasure of learning. Now we will meet again next time with yet another uh, gem of Malinatha. Thank you.